Hey there dreamers, welcome to my channel where life is a colorful adventure. I'm your host, the Dream Exit Girl, and I'm here to take you on a journey through my everyday life filled with laughter, love, and a whole lot of tail wagging fun. Join me as I explore beautiful parks with my three furry companions, each with their own quirky personality and dive into the joys of spontaneous weekend getaways in my trusty camper, Rick. From heartwarming moments to hilarious misadventures, this channel is all about embracing the magic in the mundane and finding joy in every little experience. So grab your favorite snack, hit that subscribe button, and let's embark on this dreamy adventure together. Let's go! Good Monday morning. I'm running after Brutus again. Ah! Okay, I rounded him up. We're getting him back. Now he's heading into Keith's backyard. <coughs> They've all pooped though, which is good. Gonna get them in and get ready for work. This is a crazy work week. I'm gonna do four days in a row, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna get much of a video this week, I can tell already. I'm working six out of the seven days come on Brutus we're not doing a tour of Keith's backyard again let's go let's go back out of the beautiful backyard got a quiet morning so far just got to work I'm gonna punch in very shortly just sitting in my car relaxing before all of it starts It'll probably be a busy day because I run the art program this morning. Art and music and that kind of stuff. Well, another thing is I was bitten by a tick this morning. I noticed it when I got out of the shower. Forgot to mention it earlier when I got to work. But it's starting to hurt. The mark is there. And I got to freaking probably go to a doctor because... Now I'm all worried about Lyme disease. The picture looks just like a deer tick on the internet. So, yeah, I really don't feel like getting super sick and almost dying. So I'm gonna have to go find out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Good morning. Getting ready for work. Dogs have been out. I'm going to hop in the shower now, so I'll catch up with you a bit later. It's Tuesday and another work day. I got bit by a tick, and I'm not sure. I'm keeping an eye out now for Lyme disease. I'm freaking out. Hopefully, it's nothing, because it doesn't seem to be getting really big and red, like the picture showed on the internet, so... It might have been a tick, but maybe not a diseased one. Somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. Mm, 6.57. It's the pickup shift day, the 8 to 8. Um, I'm actually not feeling too bad. <laughs> and the dogs are anxiously waiting to go out. So I may get it together very shortly. Yeah. Hope everybody else is having a good morning. All right. It's already been a non-stop day. Doesn't seem to end around here. Oh. Oh, please don't make me regret I picked up a shift. Good morning, everyone. From Stinker Broody. He's a stop. Mr. Cuddlebum this morning, isn't he? As usual, he loves his mom. He wants to spend time with her. Oh, oh shaker. And here comes Andy. Here comes the tea. Good Thursday morning, everybody. 
It's ooh, around 7.30, I think. I'm about to go get in the shower. I just thought I'd pop in and say good morning. Um, yeah, last day of a four-day stint. And then I'm done. And payday. Yeah. <laughs> so I can go pay some bills and get a few things we need for the house. Do my payment on my camper, Rick. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm sleepy today, though, after that. Yesterday was like a long day. At one point, I was running around with three lanyards. But in the evening, when things settled down a little bit, there was another rainbow. So I guess that's a sign of hope. The one client I was working with asked me um, what a rainbow means. And all I could think of, like I, I'm going to Google it and see if there's other meanings, but I know that the original rainbow was a promise from God not to flood the earth again back in that Noah story. So, I told her about that one. Yeah. Anyway, I don't have too much time to chat this morning. The dogs were all cute, as you saw earlier. I took them out, and I had Brutus on a leash this time. So he could not take off on me and go visit chickens and disappear like he did yesterday. Like, he literally disappeared, and I thought he ran away. Like, he was nowhere to be seen in the backyard, in the two sides of the farm field. I couldn't see him at all. And then he came from, like, way down at the opposite end from the chickens. Like, opposite. I don't know what he was doing, but... Anyway, he learned his lesson, maybe, because he's on a leash now. So, again, catch up with you later. Bye! Anybody else ever have those rougher mornings? Like, in general, I like my job, but I don't know. I'm having a rougher one this morning. It's one of those ones where I'm, like, reflecting on... Do I... Why do I feel like I want to rush every day away till I'm off work and have time to do what I want? Is this all there is to life? Mm, I want to travel. I want to spend time with my dogs. Mm. Anybody else ever feel like that? Because, I don't know. It would have been so nice to just be able to see the world and do what I want to do. When I want to do it. Now I'm sounding like Paris Hilton. Okay, here's another one. Creepy, creepy. It's got like all kinds of creepy stuff. The clowns and ghosts and a gate with skulls. More ghosts. Ooh, and a werewolf. Yeah, I don't know if Elaine would like this. But wow. He looks really sick. He just keeps throwing up. Ha <laughs> ha. And then there's a ghosty guy over there. Okay, so we're at the park at Camp 30. Just doing like a boot around. Because look, the moon's already up. The sun's going down. I don't know if there's people around. But I got them all off the leash. And I'm so freaked out about it. Come on, Venus. I'm going to put you on a leash. I got you guys. There you are. Okay, so there's Brutus happy after the walk. Through Camp 30 around the trail. And Indy's back here. Right there. And then, Venus, you saw in the picture, she was peeking her nose out being all cute. Hey, Venus? Venus? Where are you, pumpkin bum? <laughs> it's not coming again. Oh, there she is. She squeezes through like a little cutie pie. All right. Forgot to mention earlier. Good Friday morning, by the way. Um, that the farmer came and did his thing. So the field is now all harvested. And I got Brutus out being a good boy, sitting like a good boy for me for a minute. 
He hasn't pooed or peed and he's really unhappy he's on a leash. He doesn't want to go to the bathroom on a leash. But, like, he keeps not listening and taking off and it doesn't work like that. Right, bud? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Your mommy's a good boy. Good Friday morning. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. The sun is shining today. Blue skies. I'm just getting my chores done early so I can go somewhere decent with the dogs for a walk. I'm going to take a look now at the All Trails app and see what's around other than Orono and the other one that I went to and is killing. Let's see what else is around. Try a new one. On the 401, heading to our old stomping ground in Scarborough, West Hill to be specific. And we're going to go to Morningside Park with the dogs. So, and you can notice traffic is horrible on a Friday afternoon on the 401 in Ontario. Especially if you're going the other way. Ours isn't great, but the other side's even worse. at the location. But for some reason I lost connection. This is Morningside Park. Where John and I originally used to come and hike when we were kids. Huh. Next to Morningside in Ellesmere, you'll find Morningside Park, a 596 acre stretch of wilderness tucked away in a highly urbanized area. Here, Highland Creek winds its way through an expanse of mature trees along footpaths and naturally eroded cliffs. After the Second World War, a housing shortage led many people to move outwards towards the suburbs small cottages in the Highland Creek area were converted into year-round residences, in particular in the Willows area, northeast of Lawrence and Horton Park Road, and the Highland Creek Valley south of the 401. The western end of the present-day park also housed Camp of the Crooked Creek, which belonged to the Toronto District of the Boy Scouts Association. In 1954, Hurricane Hazel hit Toronto with a severity that is still unmatched to this day. The severe damage from Hurricane Hazel led to the removal of housing in the Highland Creek Valley area and the land was protected from any future developments being built. In the 1960s, the city owned Highland Creek Park and adjacent Boy Scouts land were merged to form this present day Morningside Park. Okay, so that over there is the bridge to the university. And then here, it looks like the university has volleyball. I could have swore right here is where the tennis courts were. I could be wrong. Maybe they're up that path. Yeah, maybe, eh? Come on. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's got to be where they are. Let's go over to that picnic table and let the dogs live. Right? Yeah. That way we can walk. I'm going to keep Venus on. She has a long leash, so...
out. Out. yeah me too I used to even play tennis down here yeah yeah I think the tennis course there. yeah I'm pretty sure yeah they were up on higher ground you're right and there's a building near it This field was, but they didn't have the volleyball. volleyball it was just a field. Here. No, it was a dirt path, I think. Maybe, yeah. Because those stairs were there to go up to the tennis court. I just forgot about it. Morningside Park is connected to U of T. So back behind me. Scarborough is, campus. Yeah, the Scarborough campus. So it's like got volleyball courts which weren't there when we were younger and then Brutus uh, Rudy. Close. that way Close. and then up some stairs should be tennis courts Good boy and Good over boy. at Close. the other bridge way over there is where you go across and you end up at the campus so and we're gonna probably follow the path a little further behind me like around the corner there yeah. Anyway. So, blast from the past and memories right now. A lot of portions of this park are wheelchair accessible with paved paths. Take Eunice down here. John's already down. I'm gonna go down this little path. Yeah, baby. I know you're in a hurry, Venus. No. She's pulling me. Right. Go on the right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And ignore me. Go there, I'll go like that. <laughs> Venus, you're really naughty. You're pulling too hard. Come on. Hi. She's pulling so hard. Wow. How pretty. Except we made my phone dirty. Holy moly. That's a lot of time here. <laughs> she wants in there, right? I know, but I don't want her like getting all wet. You're gonna have a drink, that's it. 
And that's that way. And that's this way. I think way. she likes the cooling down, eh? Yeah, but she's... I know, I'm just... That's why I think that's what it is. Yeah, but she needs to stay drier. We went swimming here. This hole was yeah. a lot bigger. It was deeper. Way. We used to crawl up these rocks. I don't even know if they were there. They were, yeah, they were submerged. Some of them were. I just remembered crawling This up was rocks. bigger, John. I remember that wall and sitting on it and that pavement. But the hole was deep. The hole no. was really deep. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at the colors. That's, a nice That's crazy. So this is what Eamon and Back have. They're like cool houses, domes, which is pretty nifty. With a door and it's got... Yeah, look, it's a garden thing, really. Yeah. Oh, All cedar. See how they have those planters? That's... And that's the water reservoir in the back. Look, that's... it collects rainwater, I bet. That is cool. You can it's take solar, out... look. It's all self You could take out a couple of the planters and put a bed in instead. A table. <laughs> it's pretty nifty. So that's... It's like a, it's like a, like a water... So what are these for? Looks like a U of T project. She 
continually reinvented herself. Well, that's kind of cool. I wouldn't mind looking yeah. her up. What's her name? Lottie Dennis. Oh, so you can just do what you want with it. That was just a sample of what it looks like if you, yeah. you know, did decide. Huh? These ones have gardens on the side. Okay. Two doors. Yeah. You can put two nice rooms in there, right? Yeah. Lucy Swanton Doyle. She owned the schoolhouse built here in 1870. Her cherished wish was that her valley become part of Scarborough College grounds. So well, that's over so here. Cool. And this site there was an old schoolhouse. Yeah. Wow, eh? Highland Creek, I bet, right? Yeah. That's neat. Like that was such a nice memory. Yeah, I know, eh? Wow. Okay. But yeah, that was all frozen and I skated. It was like a pond that froze because it flooded. And it was the most fun skating. All of this here, it's in front of me. I was looping around trees and just having a blast. Up there? Yeah. Then we walk up the, the fence, we walk up the road. Yeah. You don't remember? Yeah. But I remember riding my bike up the hill way more times than I walked that. <laughs> Yeah, and it oh, it did. The whole area flooded, and it was so cool to skate and slide around. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Nice place to come have a picnic, too, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Park is pretty in fall. Like, look at these colors. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going under the tree. <sighs> Almost back at the car. So there's a dog park where people can go. There's a few people in there, way over there. Remember? Look at those trees, eh? How much they've grown. Yeah. That used to be all I used to picnic the there. Yeah. They were not trees, not. but not that big. This is new. Yeah. It's actually been here for years. That's where I saw horses. I swear I did too. <laughs> I guess they were really big dogs. Oh yeah. So what? You put your kids in there and then have a party over have your there? Your kids in the dog park. All right. There's Ted's restaurant. That's like the place everybody used to go on weekends for breakfast, lined up out the door. I bet you it's still like that. I haven't been for breakfast here in a long time, but it's definitely the place to go. Shamrock was over back there. Here's where we bought our car, right there. Oh yeah. This one. Our Honda Fit. A little go-kart. Hey everyone. Been editing on the computer. Just gonna say good night. Have a good one.
and I'll catch up with you in the morning. Good morning. It's Saturday, my work weekend. I'm ready. It's just like looking at what I did yesterday for our dog park walk. The editing and stuff. Kind of checking it out because in two days I'm putting the movie out, so... Yeah, well, Saturday, Sunday, I still have video like this, but unless I do something really cool at work, there's not really going to be anything but me talking and saying, good morning. And then next week, I'm going to try and get John to camp on the weekend. That would be nice. Pick something and try and do a colder night camp and see how that goes with the heater and everything. So, yeah. Anyway. I will catch up with you in a bit. I gotta finish getting ready for work. Have my coffee and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I will see you guys all soon and I hope you're having a good start to the day too. Oh, there's the puppers. Good Thursday morning, morning everybody. And on her bed, it's around 7 30, I think. Um, I'm gonna go and get in the shower. Doing this on your coach. Oh, mellow. Their evil eyes. Gave me the evil eye. Yeah, Brutus. Think. Is over here. Mine is housey. Likes is housey. Oh. Oh, 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 poor puppy's bored. That's okay. Chris and Sasha will take you today, okay? We'll get you out. Uh, well, we're all just chilling. We got another scary house. It's got. <laughs> it's got. It looks like he's coming right out of the roof, and some of them are climbing up. Oh wow! And the Grim Reaper, and all the scary, deadly-looking things. Look, that's wicked. They're climbing up the house. And the Grim Reaper is really neat, too. Okay. Half my work day is done. Just standing outside for a second, getting some sunshine, and then I've got to switch units. Um, did get a call from my dad this morning. My mom is not doing so good. She's at the hospital right now. So I don't know. I might end up having to leave. We'll see how things go. Hopefully she's okay. Hopefully. I also want to mention I went to bed early Thursday night. And look at what I missed. I can't believe it. I've never seen that. And... I slept through it. This photo was taken by some lucky person who didn't miss it in Oshawa. Good Sunday morning and a happy Thanksgiving weekend. I haven't even mentioned that. So tomorrow I have to go over and help my mom and we're going to have Thanksgiving dinner with my parents. The family. Right now, I'm just sitting waiting to go to work. It's Sunday morning, 8.16 a.m. I'm ready, mostly. Sipping coffee. Dogs are doing their thing again. You can't really see Indy. But Vina, she could see on the couch. So, anyway. Yeah, and Brutus is laying by the door waiting for John to get up. He's got the day off. I wish I did, too. Take a nice walk today together or something. But I got the next two off, and then I worked two, and then I got three off. Woo woo! So, the video will have more walks and stuff. Maybe even a camping trip next weekend. I'm gonna try and talk John into it, even though it's getting colder at night, because we need to test out our heater. I wanna see, like, what kind of temperatures we can deal with in that thing. So, let's see what happens. Because I'd like to go back west. I'd like to go east, too. I don't know. Whatever he's feeling, maybe. I'm not going to promise nothing. All right.
right, here's another creepy house, all out decorated. Like with all kinds of ghouls, and ghosts, and skeletons, and lights. Good night, everybody, for another week. Thanks for joining me. And next week should be a better episode with a lot more going on because I'm only working two days and off five instead of working six and off one. So I'm going to do some cool stuff. There we go.